What up, my Zillions? I am here on a snowy day in NYC with the One Twelve Collective Toy Fair exclusive Gomez Agent Edition. This was the to obviously the Toy Fair exclusive that was available to uh, press folks. Yeah, I, I I'm not considered that yet at Toy Fair uh, <laughs> proper. Although by Hasbro I am, so how about that? Kind of, sort of. Um, that's what my badge says. Hey, uh, check out my Toy Fair recap for all of the particulars, if you're ever curious about my whole Toy Fair experience. But they made this guy uh, available yesterday. And I actually knew this, um, that they were... Not that they were going to make it available so quick, but they were planning on doing a pre-order. I asked them, uh, what's the deal with this, you know... Um, are you going to make it available and stuff? And they said they they were uh, going to make it available at retail. Up now, I believe you can pre-order it normally. They did make the, um, I guess, the, the actual Toy Fair exclusive one. Uh, although, I think they're all going to be the same in package. Not 100% sure. But the, this came with a, a bag and some badges. Not badges, like pins and stuff. A dog tag. A bunch of all the stuff that the press got. You are able to get so I'm not sure exactly if the the one that's up for pre-order now is going to include all of that stuff, but because uh, this one uh, I don't I don't know how long this was up for, but I I got the email and I instantly like bought it. So uh, because if you didn't see my Instagram pics of it, I was quite enamored with it. Uh, I could not stop looking at it there, uh, and I really wanted it. Uh, really jelly of all my friends that were just able to get this for free uh, in the community. So this is pretty cool. You know, Agent Edition here. And the sticker is not like quite well put on. It's done as a word balloon. Is if, uh, if you can see that, Toy Fair exclusive sticker. So these are extra stickers. Um, you just have Gomez here. Now, if you don't know, Gomez is there. Uh, and in my recap video, I kept something Gus. Um, Gomez, I must be thinking of the Fuchsia's Gus. Um, Gomez is um, their like, uh, like mascot, you know? He's always on their logos and stuff. It says Gomez along the side here. And a really close up of an actual bug head here, which is pretty, pretty cool. Uh, nothing really much to talk about any other spot. I'm in my apartment, like I said. Uh, I don't know if I'm going into the studio today. Again, it's really snowing hard right now. Sticking around in the apartment, getting some work done and stuff here. But this came in and I was just like, you know what? I got to do an unboxing for you guys because I'm excited to see it. I wanted to open it, so I might as well go ahead and open it for you guys but i couldn't do a live today because um and the last live i uh, the last live i did here from the apartment over the weekend was like actually not good uh kind of messy so apologies on that because the wi-fi is not this is just a if you've never seen this before welcome to the 112 collective design but collectors for collectors product care whatever whatever you have an unpacker, you can't actually see him because he's got a lot of stuff. I had one of my lights here, so I'm using that, but it's really up close. Um, just not the proper spot for any of this stuff. Not exactly sure what's this. I won't open everything. There's more stuff here. Maybe it's a coat. Maybe, I'm not sure. There's some stickers here as well. The regular Mesco stand. I'm going to leave this to the side. We're just going to really look at the figure. Show you guys that see what you know why i've been so hyped on it got a ton of extra hands in here and i don't want them all falling out so a ton like a lot this was part of the whole edition of it um you got a ooh a black skull head that you could use here you guys know what the the, the context for this is Black Skull, is he a character? Um, sometimes they do that. They sneak some of the stuff in to some of these exclusives. Um, that's really cool. Not exactly sure myself. Is it, a, it might be like a DC character and I should know these things. But I think there is a guy with a Black Skull head. Here's one of the heads here. Really, really, really nice. Let's see if I could get more light on that. That's pretty cool. Again, just making do with what I have here. The light's down here. Ugh. 
I wish I had one of my LEDs up here. <laughs> Better than nothing. Very nice. There's a second head here with the ant. Oh, this is a this is an ant head. That's cool. That's very nice. Nicely done. So that's that's neat. Some cool. There is another layer here on the bottom. Before we look at the figure, this must be all the weapons. And we got another another package here. Looks like a backpack or some sort of pack or something. I'm not exactly sure. I'll have to look at that later on. I love it when my camera stops recording and I don't know. I'm going to blame it on being in a weird spot right now. But <laughs> here are the weapons he comes in uh, with. Uh, you got a sword. You have a scabbard for that sword. You have a nice big rifle here with an extra clip. I'm guessing these are some sort of like bomb things. I'm not going to open them right now. Little pistol there. Weird looking pistol. Nice boom box. This thing looks incredible. And you got some blast effect parts, which is nice. So very, very cool. I, I dig that. And now we'll look at the figure. I, I looked at him already, so <laughs> I just didn't know I looked at him. And here is Gomez himself. And he looks fantastic. He really does. He is super slick looking. I'm um, really digging it here. What really, like, got me at the show was that, like, first, his All-Stars kind of is, like, Mezzet's All-Stars. I, I like it a lot. And then his the way his suit sits on him fits really well, nice and, like, slim. I think that's cool. I love his tie and his gray shirt. I just dig the style. It's right up my alley. And this head looks really cool, too. Um, so, yeah, it's really nice. And I'm glad they made it available. Um... No problem of picking it up. I mean, I wish I got it for free. But, <laughs> you know, it's like, it's stuff like that that keeps me, uh, you know, working hard at this Ultrazilla thing. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, I want to get there. I want to get there. I want to get the channel there. I want to get myself there um, as a reviewer. So, yeah, really cool. Definitely going to be reviewing him in detail shortly. Uh, well, as soon as I can get to the studio again, it's still pretty hard here. Um, I, I didn't think it was supposed to snow that hard. But here you go. That's what he looks like. Expect a review soon. I'm glad to have gotten him as quick as po as I have. I'm basically in Mezco's backyard here uh, in New York City because they're in New York City as well. So there you go. That, if you've never seen uh, one of my unboxings from them. Um, I don't get stuff from them directly often, but like like Kong I did, and that was here super fast. Uh, everybody was like, whoa, how'd you get it so fast? I'm seriously, literally in their backyard. So there you go, guys. Hope you uh, dug this unboxing. Stay tuned. Definitely we'll be reviewing this guy soon, and until next time, peace out, peeps.